hello everybody and today i am going to be answering a talking about a great debate who would win one billion lions or one of every pokemon now and i'm just gonna say the answer depends on your rule set automatically so for this i'm gonna be talking about a more standard pokemon thing i'm going for a quadruple battle but really, it doesn't matter what level of battle you go for. Um, if it's a reasonable number, this is basically the results. So let's start off with our lions. This is all the thing you need to know. This is their lion set. Um, you can get this. You can pause the video now if you want to not, n look into this. If you don't agree with anything, you can let me know in the comments. Um, so for the lions, their stats are powers, but the attack and special attack are swapped, making them physical attackers, and the lions are normal type. Let's look at their typings. So I did give them mostly normal type moves, but also some dark and a fairy type move. I'm not sure about the fairy typing, but like, anyway, so this is their defensive relationships. Obviously, this is just normal typing. And their offensive relationships, because they have Dark and Fairy, um, only eight Pokemon resist them. Now, granted, if we don't give them any non-normal type moves, then they automatically lose, because the ghost types. But even if we exclude Fairy, even still, only 21 Pokemon can resist them. If we look with the Fairy types, you're only getting Steel Fairies resisting them. And even without fairy, there still aren't very many type combos that can resist them. They just don't hit as much for super effective, basically. Now, let me... Now, enough exposition. Let's talk about why the Pokemon are screwed. This is a bit of a mess. I'll just show you over here is what I have for the field, and... Here's all the data you need to know for the Pokemon. It's not very important. Anyway, so... As you can see, there's a lot of... Around two to... F there's two to fives. His fives are pretty rare. And sometimes there's a one-hit KO. So why do the Pokemon have no chance? Well, in order for the Pokemon to win, each Pokemon would have to knock out 975,610 lions. That's rounded up. So, yeah, I don't think this is happening without revives. What if we have a million lions? Surely the Pokemon win. And no shot. I don't think one Pokemon is capable of defeating 975 lions. They could, I could see them, them beating, say, a hun, say, a hundred thousand if they really were lucky and worked together really well. Probably they would easily, I don't, I could definitely see them beating ten thousand, but a billion, no shot. They have, they don't have a chance in heaven. Like, this is just absurd. I think I typed in the number wrong. Hang on, guys. Okay, what the... Oh, that's 100 billion. Oops. Yeah, this is just ridiculous to expect one Pokemon to do. Now, they can work together. But still, no shot. And considering that the lions are knock are probably going to be knocking out most of the Pokemon pretty quickly, I don't really think that's practical. Even with terror types and all that, that, no. The Pokemon have no shot. Anyways, yeah, that's it. Goodbye. A Pokemon dead. Well, of course, unless you go, let everyone go at once. Let's just say then the Pokemon win. And it's not even a challenge. But if you work at, like, a standard Pokemon battle, yeah, the Pokemon automatically lose. Goodbye.